it's BRB with another episode of Terrific TV Toys and you know we have been celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Barbara Gordon Batgirl character all year long here on T3 and for this month's anniversary installment episode we have got something hot off the presses. At least it's still pretty warm. I really have to thank my friend Mike because he sees this stuff way before I do. He sees previews first, he sees it online first, he knows a guy who knows a guy or whatever, but he is right on top of this stuff and he snags it for me and I'm like, oh, really? They've got that? That's out? <laughs> <laughs> so thank you to Mike, who is really um, my procurement specialist honorary here at BRB TV. So as of the time I'm shooting this, he got this one probably two or three weeks ago, and it is, as I mentioned, hot off the presses. And there's a whole set of these for all the major characters of Batman the Animated Series as released by DC Collectibles. I think most or all of them this year in 2017. And the San Diego Comic-Con, which um, just happened several weeks ago, um, July was when this Batgirl figure was released, and DC is celebrating Batgirl's 50th anniversary, too, um, for the Barbara Gordon Batgirl, which is the version of Batgirl. Bat, of course, was featured in this animated series. And so at San Diego Comic-Con, they released this one. In that same week, DC was marking her 50th anniversary. And um, they've got, like I said, they've got a whole bunch of these. Mike has the whole set so far, it looks like, from what I saw this past weekend. Um, and even the female figures, besides Catwoman, which you would expect, they've got um, Zatanna. Wow, I love Zatanna. So um, definitely look for all of those. There's a whole nice set of these. This Batgirl figure is based on the two-part episode of Batman the Animated Series called Shadow of the Bat. And that was the debut of Batgirl, although Barbara Gordon had been on an episode or two before that, pictured at her dad's home, you know, as just Barbara Gordon, very much foreshadowing the appearance of this wonderful superhero that I have always loved. So taking a look at the packaging, because this girl's coming out of the box. This is an out-of-the-box experience, so if you have this and you're leaving it in the package, you can live vicariously through this video. Um, the packaging is rather simple on the back, just the stylized logo of Batman the Animated Series set to a more modern look. And then we've got the logos on the back, DC, trademark and copyright, DC Comics, all the other more legal verbiage. Um, sculpted by Irene Matar, um, and this has a number 41. There's another version too, by the way, Black Leotard um, with Batgirl, which is uh, represents the redesign a few years into the show. Around about 1996, they redesigned a bunch of the characters and recast the show as the new Batman Adventures and so she was wearing a black leotard and had a little bit leaner look along with a lot of the other characters. This retails, by the way, $28. You can find it online in a variety of places. So, ooh, let's, let's get in there. It does say, um, how many parts? 15 pieces. I was trying to count them through the plastic and I did not count 15, but let's see what we discovered because I am discovering this at, at the same time, um, same time as you are. For the most part, when I take things out of the box, I don't keep the packaging unless it's really, really special. Um, since this is a card, I probably won't keep it. Looks like we got some tape action on that there too. This will be helpful to peel away the tape. All right. We're going to get her free of this. I hope I don't need any scissors or anything like that because I did not grab them. Now I have to leave you hanging for a second to get them. Oh, okay. I see how that comes out. And there's a piece of tape there that we're going to tape off. All right, wow. Look at that. That is plastic. Okay, so there's a little um, folded paper here with instructions. Turn around. How interesting. 
Let's look at this stuff first. Oh, is this going to show me the set? Oh, this is so nice. Now, instead of me just saying there's a whole big set of these, I can show you. Look at the major animated series that followed um, from Batman the Animated Series. Like I said, the new Batman Adventures was the redesign right about 1996. Then you had Batman Beyond, Superman the Animated Series. You even had Justice League and Justice League Unlimited after that. But look at this nice homage to that. And little bit of promo for the other stuff. Batman Beyond looks good. And we've got Ace, the Bat Hound, Holiday Joker. Hmm. Loving that. It really does make me... Oh, and look, there's Lois, too. It really does make me want to go out and get some others in this set. Okay, this is going to give me instruction, I think, which is really good because I've said before that... Um, and. And even though stuff like this is really geared more toward adults and not kids, you kind of have to be a kid to figure out some of this stuff when you open it. Okay, so we've got a post that goes into the stand. We've got, oh, that's very similar to what Mattel does with some of its um, Barbie doll line, the collector Barbies, with a little thing that goes around the waist. All right, so maybe we can do it. Maybe we can figure it out. Although I don't see a post. Oh, there it is. It's clear. It's clear plastic. Okay. Looks like maybe either end will do. But we did that one. I am going to need some scissors. Pausing momentarily. Oh, actually, no, I didn't need them because this is a twisty tie. Okay. Oh, good. Grab that. Yeah. Well, we don't even need to do that. Throw that over there. Let's see if we can grab her out. She does have quite a bit of articulation. She does also have a batarang. Okay. All right. Yeah, a lot of articulation even in the wrist. Wow, how do you like that? Elbow, wrist. Are we moving the head? Not really she's on an angle there so she's not really going to swivel her head but um, nice nice elbow and wrist articulation she's sort of gonna sit and maybe not really and then um, yeah we got movement there and we got movement in the ankle okay but the big thing of this one after I take out the little thing for the stand. Oh, na, 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 na. oh okay. I see. Oops. That's what we're doing. And that's it is kind of convenient that you can move it along on here and grip wherever you want for the stand. I do like the <laughs> even though it's a little weird because it's like instructions on a stand, I do like the imprint on the stand. But anyways, I do digress. Um, back to this. I think what really um, is the outstanding feature of this figure are all these little hands that have clear plastic covering. Oh, I see. We are going to peel up this little piece of tape. They're very small and definitely not for little kids. We might swallow them and certainly lose them. Okay. I'm gonna take off this ugh, hand, right? Hmm. I feel like I'm breaking it if I take it off. Uh, right? Oh gosh. I'm afraid. These are just not, unless there's a special gizmo. Um, but hands in every, like this is where she's sort of gripping something. I'm gonna have to find something to put these in. Maybe I'll use the little lunchbox accessory that came with one of my Barbie Batgirls. There's a little lunchbox from the Batgirl Barbie of the animated series. That would be a good place to put all these hands. 
I'll show the grip on each one. And then this piece of tape. With all of these in it. So we've got one, two, three, plus five is eight. Huh. Eight hands. Am I assuming we've got four of each of the varieties of hands left and right? They're very delicate. I think they could easily be broken, especially by a little kid. Okay, this one is not. Okay. Everything is out of the package. And can I demonstrate now? There we go. Okay. I got over my fear. Let's find her a left hand like that one. Thumb in the right place. <laughs> oh, that's tough stuff. Take some care when you do this. Ow, that was the wrong one to pick because these fingers are like boring into my fingers. Okay, here's a different one. Or put that one. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I just want one that's not going to kill my hand when I'm forcing it in. Ooh, 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 ooh. That post seems to be breaking. Again, very fragile. So, be careful with these. Ow! <laughs> it's killing my thumb right there. <laughs> and I'm going to try to force it in. Now she looks like a mutant. The hole is very small there. I don't want to waste too much of this video time. Again, wrong hand. <laughs> Let's just put this one in, if we can. Oh my gosh, this is super hard. All right, well, I'll leave that for the experts out there. Let's demonstrate the other part of the figure. She'll go handless for now. Keep blowing in the breeze behind her. All right. She is reasonably put together, except that she needs another hand. Okay, we're going to leave it for now. <laughs> so does this battering actually get gripped by one of these hands, you wonder? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, that'll work. So that kind of thing. All right, um, so that is the Batgirl part of the new Batman the Animated Series set from DC Collectibles. There's something else I want to show you in this video. Very special because we've been celebrating this anniversary all year long here on BRB TV. I thought it would be appropriate to show you where it all started for me. <laughs> reaching way back in the vault. And this is where it started as far as Batgirl for me. This is my full collection of Batman family comics from my childhood. Most of them from my childhood. Um, some of the issues I did pick up later in adulthood. But this is where and how I was introduced to Batgirl as a little girl was the Batman family comics from the 1970s. And you can see that I wrote my name on my comics. I always point that out when I show comics from my childhood on this series. And actually, I've got two number ones. I bought that later. 450, Batman family number one. Um, just because I had worn this one out. I'm pretty sure this was the first one I got. And I'm pretty sure also the memories are a little fuzzy, but I think um, 
I first got my very first glimpse of Batgirl in this number one Batman family comic. When I would go to my grandparents' house every Sunday afternoon, our family would go there and they'd have dinner and all that. And it li they lived in a nearby town in Michigan, about an hour's drive from where I grew up. So we'd all pile into the car and go to grandma's house. And uh, my grandparents, <laughs> for each of us four grandkids, they would give us a little bag like this. Um, with a comic and a candy bar and maybe a puzzle or a little game like a little um, word find paperback puzzle book or something like that something to do also but a comic book and that's how at my grandparents house in one of those little bags um, I first received one of these and I was just enthralled because she was a redhead. My mom, when I was a little girl, oh gosh, look at this. <laughs> Seriously, that's why I bought another copy. Um, my mom would always make an effort to get me dolls that had red hair uh, that I could identify with. And so to see a comic with a red haired hero in it. I think at the time I was aware of Supergirl as a blonde, Wonder Woman as a brunette, probably other female heroes out there, but to see one with red hair was just amazing. I Every one of these frames, like <laughs> I remember seeing this as a little girl thinking, oh that's a cute outfit, I love her skirt, you know. It's like you look at comics from your childhood and you remember how you felt as you read them, even if you didn't read all the words and you were just looking at the pictures, which I probably was doing. Um, oh, but I remember that. <laughs> That's a great panel when she kisses him. She's kind of playing around with Robin a little bit because um, he's just a boy, you know. <laughs> but here it is, um, my very first introduction to Batgirl as a little girl. And then um, collected quite a few others. That's a great image on the front of that. And they didn't run this series for all they like, oh, appearance of Batwoman. <gasps> I love this version of Batwoman from the 60s and 70s. Um, and so all of these very famous covers, most of which I remember, there's another one I've got a couple issues of, um, most of which I remember from my childhood. And then others I tracked down in comic shops in my adulthood but this was a great series because though Batgirl first appeared in 1967 as we know Joker's the um, Joker's daughter I love that um, she really came into her own I think in this comic series in the 1970s this was a Batgirl showcase because um, up until that point she really just made um, guest appearances in the other Batman titles there's another good Batwoman issue where they bring Batwoman back. I love Batwoman, that issue. And I'm collecting every appearance over a lifetime of, um, I'm aiming to be 100 years old, and so over a lifetime of 100 years, I am eventually collecting every appearance in the comics of the Barbara Gordon Batgirl and that version of Batwoman. I also, so every time I go to a comic shop, I'm on the hunt for appearances that they did in the 60s, 70s, maybe even 80s comics that I don't have. And the Barbara Gordon Batgirl continues to this day in the comics, so I've really got my work cut out for me. But that's where my friend Mike is a big help too. <laughs> Love that. Thank you for taking this journey back in time with me as well as this modern journey. Um, into what makes the Barbara Gordon Batgirl character so fantastic. We will continue this anniversary series for, oh, let me see, October, November, December, three more months yet this year. And because new stuff like this kind of pushed other stuff out of my schedule, I'm still going to be showing some Batgirl stuff into next season of the show, too. I've just got so much of it. Um, but we have another new thing. I think next month I'm going to do another brand new item, but it's reaching back to our other earlier TV appearance on the 1960s Batman TV show with a new figure that just came out for that. So thank you much for watching and stay tuned in the next few weeks for other stuff um, on Terrific TV Toys before we return to our anniversary special.